Hey guys, it's been a while since my last tweak video, so I wanted to show you what's going on right now. There's actually so many good City of Tweaks that have been released in just the past few days. So I wanted to share uh, all of these brand new ones with you. Uh, iOS 10.2, 10.1.1, and so on jailbreak tweaks that are compatible with pretty much any device. So a lot of awesome stuff. Let's get into it. All right, so first one is going to be message heads. It's just been updated for iOS 10. And what it is essentially is a messages, the little message heads from your messenger app with Facebook. It puts them anywhere onto your device. So you get just a little icon you can move around. Let me open up a conversation here. And when you're inside one, you can easily uh, send someone a message just like this. And uh, once that's gone, just click anywhere. Now you have this little bobble head or message head to move around. Just like Messenger, you can attach it anywhere and with an activator gesture, have it hidden or uh, actually present. Next is in a set. I think that's how you say it. it's actually a very beautiful and useful tweak. So again, with an activator gesture, you can go ahead and activate this menu on the right of your device where you have a whole bunch of toggles that you can quickly access from anywhere. So let's say I'm inside of settings and I want to activate them. From in here, I set a couple of custom ones. I can clear out my app switcher using Kill Background 10. I can enable low power mode i can enable the flashlights from in here so it's like control center but everywhere and you can actually customize this it just looks really cool that's what i liked about it and a very simple one this is a feature that you'll find on many of the higher end android phones well actually a lot of them but smart tap allows you to quickly wake your device just by double tapping on the display like this so one two screen comes to life and major props to coke pokes who has updated his tweak phantom light for snapchat so there is an ongoing battle with snapchat and you know you, they just don't let you use any third party tweaks inside of it and they hate it so this one right here phantom light is familiar to everybody you can quickly upload snaps uh, from within the actual snapchat application you can save people's snaps without them ever knowing it so just like this i can save it or let them know i've seen it and you can replay it infinitely as many times as you want so uh not that but Basically, you'll leave it and you can keep opening it as many times as you want. And also you can actually filter whether or not you want people to see you when looking at their stories, activate stealth mode right there. Incredibly useful. And also for Snapchat here is streak notify. So those are some of my personal contacts over there. Just wanted to let you know what it'll do. I showed you this, but it has received an update to be more stable with the latest 10.2.0 version. Basically lets you know how much time you have until the streaks expire. So you can go ahead and get that snap out uh, before your streak you worked so hard on is gone. Also just wanna show you guys these tweaks are working on the latest 10.2.0 version. So next is Tiny Bar. This hasn't officially been updated since iOS 8. This is an unofficial project, but look at that. It actually changes your little notification bar to a very, very slim one. It's actually incredibly efficient and very clean looking. So hats off to the guy that made this happen very clean look and here is folder enhancer always have liked this one it allows you to change every aspect of a folder customize the look and functionality change the text size over here change how much rows you want of icons you can make it five by five six by six even uh, you can actually change the icon itself how dark it is if you want a background on it there are a ton of settings for it next up is slide to unlock 10. so i actually kind of showed you a very similar tweak however it wasn't this one it brings back the original slide to unlock functionality that every version except iOS 10 has. So if you actually slide it and you have a passcode on, it'll take you to the passcode page. When you click cancel, it goes back to this page. And if you don't have a passcode on, this is what you'll see. So it doesn't actually have the text on it, but if you slide to unlock, it'll just unlock your phone. And yes, what you guys are seeing is lock glyph. So this has been updated for iOS 10 unofficially. This is not the real deal. It seems like a lot of people are taking matters into their own hands and updating tweaks on their own, but this will actually bring back the lock glyph animation that you love. Unfortunately, it is in beta and I wasn't able to get any themes working. So the uh, stock one is the only one that you can work with. You can change the color of it, uh, the behavior and the sound, but it does work perfectly. And now I'm gonna show you two of my all time favorite tweaks when it comes to messages. So this is type status. It has been updated for iOS 10 and man, this, in my opinion, is one of the most valuable jailbreak tweaks. I mean, nothing on a non-jailbroken device compares. So basically, it allows you to predict the future. Know when you're about to receive a text message before it happens. So I'm typing right now, and you can actually see if someone is typing, never sends you that message. Maybe they didn't want to send it to begin with. But the cool thing is, if you actually send someone a message, 
you can uh, see when they read it. So uh, just like that, to read by that person. And to prevent a major F up in the future, here is send delay. So it has been uh, released. And what it is is basically, let's say you're typing a message and you accidentally type duck instead of the other one. So if you send it, you notice a mistake, you can quickly stop the message from being sent. You can change how long that timer is. So it's set at three seconds by default, but it can really, really save you in a moment of need when you accidentally realize you're about to send to the wrong person or the wrong words. And here are two that are classics. I actually showed you these years and years and years ago, and now they have been updated for the newest versions. It's kind of funny, like history repeats itself over and over, but I'd love to share this kind of stuff with you. So this is Aquaboard, basically gives you a beautiful interface for messing around with your device, kind of like uh, invoking these waves and you can do it from the springboard, from the lock screen. It is kind of cool swiping between pages, but it kind of makes Control Center unresponsive, as you guys can see. It takes a moment to come up. So on the lock screen, by all means, it's really, really cool, but not on the home screen. And for an even cooler effect, here is gravitation. So it allows you to get gravity on your springboard. It allows you to throw those icons around. It is so much fun just to sit and play with, even prank someone. This has been around for so long. This is an updated tweak of Gravaboard, but man, this is so much fun. This with Aquaboard, a lot of fun to play with your springboard. I, I wanna see more of these tweaks. It's really creative. And here is Apex 2. So Apex 2 allows you to hide apps behind other apps. This is a very, very old tweak, yet we're still using it today. It's incredibly useful. So you can actually swipe multiple directions on an app to go ahead and hide different apps behind them, like Instagram behind Snapchat, and it gives you a much more compact springboard without necessarily needing to use folders. So if you want a more efficient way, definitely like this. It's kind of cool. Even hide apps from unknowing people. They'll never know where to look uh, behind other apps. And check this out. So this is actually a Harbor. It brings OS 10 notifications or the dock uh, to your iOS device. So when you get a text, it'll just bump up as a little notification right there. And basically it allows you to put as many apps as you want down here. And let's throw another one in here like Spotify. It's a really, really cool look. So it continues to shrink the more apps there is and you have this really neat effect. Feels just like OS X. One of the most necessary Cydia tweaks is Camera Tweak 4. Just updated for iOS 10. it allows you to get in-app camera controls. So without needing to do the annoying thing like go into settings to change your video resolution, you can do it from in here. Just click on that and it gives you all of these options for changing the resolution. So there's 2160, 1080, and if you guys want to change the frames per second, you can do that as well. I believe click on the 4K or the uh, resolution button and you can easily slide to how many FPS you want. Of course, it has to be reasonably correct, otherwise it won't let you set it. And this is We Love Music. It brings the Wii App Store music when you were browsing for games and stuff to the App Store, City Store, iTunes Store. I don't know, it doesn't sound familiar to me, but it might to some other people. So it's even in Cydia and some other areas as well, as soon as you jump into it. Just like that. And technically I am cheating with these. They're not officially out, but I wanted to share uh, because they're amazing. So these two, I got to beta test. First one being color banners. I wanna go ahead and send myself a couple notifications just to show you. It'll match the color of the notification banner to the app it's coming from. So here's one from messages. And as you can see, it will arrive in a green one, really neat. And if I could only have one city a tweak, this would be it. I wanna share with you my favorite city a tweak color flow three. So it's officially been updated for iOS 10, still in beta. I am testing it. So look at this. It matches everything to the album art. Absolutely incredible. And the algorithms for it work very well. It notices the smallest little bit of colors everywhere and adjusts all of the toggles and everything accordingly. So look at how beautiful this is. I wish Apple would have implemented this into iOS. It just looks fantastic. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Anyways, my favorite city or jailbreak tweak right here color flow three and you guys may have noticed i got the old instagram logo so you can actually change individual app icon logos with app con so just hold any app as you would to go ahead and wiggle on it tap on it and replace from photo library so save any picture that you want to replace it with let's say i actually want to replace it with the old snapchat icon 
and save it. Just like that, you can custom change the icons on individual apps. And I actually had to break out my old iOS 9 jailbroken device for this one because this tweak is this cool. Mitsuha brings a visualizer into the Apple Music app. It is so beautiful. Supposedly, it will get updated for iOS 10 devices. This is something I want to see in the built-in app. It's just absolutely beautiful and works great. All right, guys, there it is. So that is the latest and greatest for the iOS 10 jailbreak. I'll keep making these as more tweaks are developed. Peace.